It has been a while since I shared with you some of my favourite makeup products so today I have compiled a few of my favourites to share with you. I know I've made a lot of videos like favourite lipsticks or like favourite Korean products but today I decided to compile all of my favourite items in one video. So in this video it's gonna be the best of all makeup so it's more like my favourite for each of the category of the makeup. So I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite powder, favorite eyeliner, favorite lipsticks, all in this video. Let's quickly get into it. Yeah. Okay, we'll start off with the favorite base makeup and it took me a really, really long time to decide which one is my favorite because I don't usually like stick to one base makeup. So this is my favorite. It's the Mamond Cover Powder Cushion. I'm a huge fan of cushion foundation because they are really easy to use, very compact. I can just like use my beauty blender, tap on it and just blend it away. There are also a lot of BB cushion or cushion foundation in the market right now and the reason why I've picked Mamon Cover Powder Cushion is because so I've tried a lot of cushion compact that are way too oily for my skin. I know like Koreans love to go for the whole dewy look and I really hate the matte look as well so I'm like pretty much stuck in between. I like a cushion compact with like good coverage and not too oily not too dewy but not matte at the same time and it's really really hard to find something like this and my mom happens to like work out all of that in one of these compacts so that's amazing so I really really like this Okay, the next product will be my favourite concealer and I think all of you should know which is my favourite concealer by now because I've been sharing this for like a thousand times it's the same cover perfection tip concealer and this is the only concealer that i found that can cover up my birthmark slash freckles over here i think the shade matches my skin tone perfectly if i'm not wrong this is more towards the cool tone concealer yeah. so i know i've been raving about the same concealer over and over so i decided to like pick up two other concealer that I really enjoy using recently Cover Cushion Concealer from Etude House I've picked out the pink one and concealer in the shade Vanilla I really enjoy using this on my under eye because I think it really covers up my dark eye circle really well I always use the pink one first because it has this like brightening effect and I really need those brightening around this area because I've been so tired lately So usually I will use the pink one underneath my eyes just to brighten up the area and then I'll use this, the normal one, just to like balance out the look so it doesn't look way too pale. Next, we have my favorite eyebrow product and I think you guys know as well which is my favorite eyebrow product. It is the Laneige Two Tone Cushion Cara. And I really feel like after getting introduced to this eyebrow cushion cara, I can't really go back to using the normal pencil. It is long lasting and it's so easy to use. I know I've been raving so much about this product but really, it has like taken over all of my other eyebrow product. <laughs> so this is my favorite as of now. And again, I know I've been raving the same old product over and over. So I decided to pick up another product that I've been loving as well. It is the Tint My Brows Gel from Etude House. And this is my holy grail. I'm not even kidding, okay? So this is my go-to eyebrow product that I use when I need to draw my brows on. But if you haven't heard of this before, this Tint My Brows Gel is actually something that you apply on your eyebrows for like minimum an hour and then it will dry up and then you can just peel off the entire gel and it will be tinted on your eyebrows for like a week. What? I've never done eyebrow embroidery before because it's so scary to me, it's like so painful. I'm so scared of pain. So having a tint that really tints on my eyebrows for like a week is amazing. So I always use this before plane rides because I hate having makeup on flight. I always use this before I travel around because I feel like it really cuts down the time for me to draw my brows like because there's gonna be this template there and you just have to fill out some gaps that you feel like you need to. My sister tried it, it only lasted like three days maximum for her so it really depends on your skin type as well but yes this is amazing. If you haven't tried this before, please do. Okay, next we have my favorite eyeshadow at the moment. Eyeshadow is another product that I cannot just pick up like this because I don't use the same old eyeshadow again and again. I always switch out the colors that I use. But I really like this series from XL. So recently I had a meet and greet with XL and I used this on all of my demonstrations on my volunteers and I really enjoy using this because if you are really on a rush, this palette is amazing for you because it has these gold particles inside, right? That really makes your eye look really shimmery and watery for some reason. And it kind of makes your whole makeup look really 
luxurious just because of the gold particles. There are quite a few shades around. My favorite is the SR01 because it's the most neutral shade you can use. Yeah, so it has been my favorite go-to eyeshadow because sometimes I just don't really want to think about what look I want to do and I just like use this eyeshadow and like pop. It's gonna be done in a minute. So another eyeshadow that I really enjoy using is the Dolly Wing Cream Eyeshadow. And this is different from the normal eyeshadow we use. It's just like a topper, I feel. You can just apply it on like this area and it will look super glam. Next up, I have eyeliner and this is my favorite eyeliner as of now. It is the Smooth Liquid Eyeliner by Heroin Make. And I only use brown eyeliner because I feel Black is way too harsh on my skin. This is really easy to apply. The tip is really fine and it's a pen type eyeliner. So another eyeliner I love is the gel eyeliner from Excel, and it is so smooth. The tip is so thin, you can really easily draw like a wing. I honestly find it so hard to work with pencil eyeliner and I think gel eyeliner is a really good alternative to pencil eyeliner. So sometimes when I want to go for a soft, smoky look, I will always use a gel eyeliner to line my eyes. I have another favorite pencil eyeliner, it is from Clio. It is called Sharp, so simple, waterproof pencil liner. And this works pretty much the same as XL. I'm not sure if it's really a pencil liner because it works like a gel and it's really thin as well. It glides on my eyes so smoothly. It is amazing, these two products and I really really love them. Next up, we have mascara. So this is my favorite mascara from Heroin Make. It is the Long and Curl Mascara Advanced Film. I have one in black and one in something like a rose brown. I find it so hard for me to find a mascara that I really really love because my mascara is really long but it's super thin. So every time I apply mascara, it will droop down. So every time I find a mascara that can really keep my curls up, it's gonna be my favorite. <laughs> the rose brown one I really love when I want to create a really soft look. I wanted to go by sequence but I totally forgot my face powder. So anyway, this is my favorite face powder. It is the Body Shop Moisture White Bright Compact Foundation. I know I've said it quite a lot of times that I really like this product. It has this two section to it. I'm currently using 02 but my favorite is actually 01. I've said, I think I've said it before in one of these videos but I can't remember. I really love the lightest shade because I feel it really highlights and the coverage is amazing as well. So, wow. so next up we have blusher. I've been loving this Etude House Peach Shoe Waffles blusher. I think it's their first series blusher. But I really love this shade. I think it's so cute still. Look at this. It's so precious. And this shade is amazing. It's like a matte pinkish coral shade. It gives this really subtle blush that I really love. Like I'm so shy. Like Okay, next we have my favorite highlighter. And this is my all-time favorite Laura Mercier highlighter. I don't think I can find any other highlighter as amazing as this. First of all, it's not powdery. You know sometimes when you have really pigmented highlighter, it is usually very chalky, very powdery and I really hate those. But this is definitely not and it is very, very, very pigmented. I'm sorry my vocab is just so limited. I only love to use very very and really really. More like something that I'm so used to saying that I can't stop saying. Oh, no. But anyway, it is pigmented but at the same time very natural looking. It gives this natural glow to your skin. Next, I have my favorite contour palette. I found this at Etude House. It is the contouring palette. I'm sorry, it's raining all of a sudden. It's my go-to contouring palette. There is this dark shade, medium shade, and a highlight shade. I don't usually use this, but I mix these two around to, to like contour my cheek. Okay, next I have my favorite lip balm. This is from Laneige. It is the lip glowing balm. It's the peach flavor. I haven't tried the other flavors yet, but I always love peach anyway, so this really smells like sweet peach and it really moisturizes my lips a lot. It gives this really glowy effect like as if it's a lip gloss and you can use this as a lip topper as well to top on your normal lipstick if you want to have this really juicy effect. Next, I've picked up my favorite lipstick and it's so hard because I have at least a few hundred lipsticks at home but I've decided to pick up something that I'll really go to so something that I feel if I'm in a rush and I really have to put on my makeup and I don't want to think which lipstick to use. So this is the lipstick that I've picked out. It is the Two Tone Balm Tint from Laneige. And I think I've said it also a lot of times, 
but I realized I will always go to this because it tints my lips and it also has this like lip balm effect so the two shades that I will go for is the lollipop red and apple cherry yuck as you can tell it's so worn out it's in such an odd shape <laughs> I realize I will always put this in my travel bag when I am on the flight because I feel like this will really lift up my entire skin tone and makes me look a lot more awake. Last but not least, I have my makeup fixer. My favorite is MAC Fix Plus. Wow! Root! And I really love this because it creates like a sheen to my face, like it's a glow. So let's say you have a lot of powder on and you feel like your face is too chalky looking. You can always end up with this and it will like sort of melt everything together and looks really glowy and nice. The lavender one is now my favourite because I love the scent. I love anything lavender. So that is all for my favourite products. And I hope you like this video as always. If you have any of your ultimate holy grail makeup that you really cannot live without, please share with me, I would love to know. And if you have any questions about the products that I've shared today, just leave me a comment below and I'll answer them. Thank you so much for watching my video as always. I hope you like it and I'll see you all really really soon.